welcome to The Stair Tailored. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin, and right now we're gonna be focusing on multiplying fractions using the length model. Now the length model of fractions means that I can show fractions according to their length. So I really wanna think about how fractions fall on a number line. And we can do this on number lines. I can also do this with fraction tiles, which is what I'm gonna to use today. And we're gonna solve this problem right here. We're gonna think about 2 thirds times 3 fourths. Now the interpretation of this problem is really important when it comes to multiplication. I want to think about two-thirds of three-fourths. So I want to find two-thirds of a fraction that shows three-fourths. So let me show you what this looks like here. So I'm going to go over and use my manipulatives and right now we're using the length model of fractions. So here I have my problem written out. Two-thirds times three-fourths or two-thirds of three-fourths. Now, whenever you want to visually show the multiplication of fractions, you're always going to start with the second fraction because I want to find the first fraction of the second fraction. And the second fraction today is 3 fourths. So I'm going to take my 3 1 fourth pieces there. Now, I want to find 2 thirds of 3 fourths. So what I always like to do is kind of use my hands and focus in on those 3 1 fourth pieces. And I want to find 2 of the three one-fourth pieces. Two of these three pieces right here would be these two right here. And so what's under my fingers? I have two one-fourth pieces. So two-thirds of three-fourths is two-fourths. And I could write the right here, two-fourths, or I could also write the equivalent fraction of one-half. Now I don't want to stop right there because there's another way that we can show this and I'm going to draw this one this time because I do not want to draw on my fraction tiles. If you want to draw on your fraction tiles, that's cool. I am going to make the choice to not do that today. So remember, I'm going to multiply 2 thirds times 3 fourths. And so I am going to show, and kind of imagine these are my fraction tiles here. Uh, here is a whole divided into four equal parts and I'm going to show the fraction 3 fourths by shading in three of the four parts, just like that. Now I want to find 2 thirds of 3 fourths, but I could also think about this as finding 2 thirds of each of the 1 fourth pieces. So let me show you what this looks like. So here I'm just going to focus on this piece right here, and I want to find 2 thirds of this piece. So that means I divide that piece into thirds, and I'll go ahead and shade these. I'll just kind of drew a cross hatching just like that. There's two thirds of that one fourth piece. I'll do that here with this piece. Here's two thirds of that one fourth piece. I'll do it with this piece here, two thirds of that one fourth piece. And if I was dividing each of the fourth, uh, fourths into thirds, I will do that here, but I don't have to shade anything because I really wasn't focused on taking two thirds of four fourths. I was only focused on taking two thirds of three fourths. So now I have a fraction with a denominator of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And when I identified two thirds of each of the 1 fourth pieces, I identified 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces. And what do we see? 6 twelfths is equivalent to 2 fourths. So both of those methods help us uh, think about multiplication of fractions using the length model. And I hope you will tune into some of our other stair tailored sessions because we will show how to multiply fractions with the area model and how to multiply fractions with the set model. See you soon.